I know this is not how I usually start my videos, but it's been a while since I've been making these tutorials and I haven't done anything else except for making these video tutorials, right? So I thought maybe it was time for me to try and do something else for a change, like make a game or replicate a game. So I headed over to Play Store to find some inspiration. And I saw this hyper casual game which is perfect slices and I thought it was pretty decent. Which is basically just you cutting some vegetables that are coming your way. With a knife of course. And I thought why not try and replicate this game in one day. And once I'm done with the game I'll share it with you guys so that you can modify it or use it in any way you like even publish it as a, your own commercial game on Play Store with a few additions to it of course. So it was now time to boot up Unity and start working on the game from scratch. And after what felt like an eternity, I was able to replicate the whole game. Well, pretty much the whole game. So this is what it looked like. You got this beautiful knife to cut the fruits coming your way. Let's, let's just get into the game itself. Ok so firstly you will be assigned a task that you need to complete in order to pass the level. Which in our case is cutting out 10 pieces from the food. Like in this game here. Except well I made a few changes to the rules because I can right? So yeah let's go cutting. Alright so the fruits are heading our way and we need to hold the press button for our knife to start chopping. Alright, so here we go. Chop, chop, chop. And chop, chop, chop. Yep, it looks good, right? And also, I've added this um, exhaustion meter up here, which gets filled as long as we keep pressing the space bar. And so we run out of roads. We got a total of 21 pieces. So let's give it one more try. Start. And this time let's try to fill out the exhaust meter and see what happens. So if we keep on chopping without any rest, we will get exhausted eventually because that's what happens in real life, doesn't it? So we need to wait for it to cool down in order to start chopping again. So let's chop them all. Okay, we got 10, 13. So the fruits are over. Yeah, that's what this game is all about. Let's close this and I'm, what I'm gonna do is explain to you the whole working system of this game so that you can easily modify it and do whatever you want to do with it. Alright, so first things first, let's look at the camera. So let's move this here, select our camera here. Let's close the post processing. So this is what it looks like. Uh, basic setup, the camera looking at our knife and the fruits will be coming from that way. From this fruit generator. So if we focus on it, you can see this is our fruit generator. And it has this area where we store all our foods. Which you can find inside the fruits folder here. And of course you can add your own if you want to. Alright, so once we instantiated a fruit at the start, the, this little trigger here by the name of follower which follow the fruits basically and as soon as the fruit hits this other trigger, so this one here, the next fruit will be instantiated and the follower will jump on to the next fruit. And so the cycle goes on and on. So the reason why I did this is because we won't have to deal with all the calculations and stuff Instead all the fruits will be instantiated at an equal distance from each other, regardless of their speed. So yeah, make sure you keep them as is. And now let's move on to the game manager. This script takes care of everything that goes inside of a game. At the top we have the move speed at which the fruits are going to move. And secondly we have the speed multiplier which will increase our move speed at a certain rate. I've set this to 5, you can change it of course. And finally the max speed that our fruits can have in any level. 
so they don't move too fast for us to be able to cut them so i've set it to 800 you can of course increase it okay so moving on to the max fruits this is the total number of fruits that can be instantiated in any level before it ends and this one is the number of pieces you need to cut from the total fruits in your game to be able to pass the level and the rest are just the some references that I've set for the gamma subjects. So let's just keep them as is. And finally, this is the dead zone. So this is where all of our fruits and the pieces die. When they reach at the end of this platform, they will just fall into this dead zone and get destroyed. So they don't clutter up our hierarchy, which is something that we don't want. You can just find all the prefabs inside the prefabs folder. You can, also, you can just play around with these prefabs, especially this splash effect. Alright, so it's time to make some changes to our game to change the difficulty level in case we decide to add more levels to it. So let's, let's start with the speed multiplier and bump this up to 10. Also, we can set the max fruit number to, to 20. Right, so. And also, to make things difficult, I'm gonna bump this minimum pieces to cut to 30. Let's keep this minimized and hit start. Okay, so we need to cut 30 pieces. And here we go. Alright, as you can see here, the move speed increases. Let's wait for the fruits and here we go. Chop, chop, chop. Alright. Let's keep chopping them. And I can see the distance is quite large. We will need to minimize the distance between each fruit. And we'll do this after I complete this game. Alright, so we got the... Okay, so we have passed the minimum, minimum pieces count, which was 30. Let's just finish this. And I think this is the high score. Of course, I have added the simple high score system so that we can keep track of high scores. So the game is over and let's close this. And what we need to do is minimize the distance between each of the fruits. And in order to do that, we need to go to our generator. And we will need to reduce the distance between our generator and this trigger here. Let's move this. And so this is our generator. We need to move the trigger closer to our generator. All right. All right. I think we can move it a bit more closer. Something like this. And let's try to play the game now. And as you can see, the distance has reduced. Let's try to play this. Yep. We can actually now keep chopping. Let's try this. Yep. And of course, we need to keep an eye on the exhaustion meter. That's something that we don't want if we need to beat the high score. Which, in our case, we couldn't. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much all this game has got, I think. And of course, let's show you the knife. So, the knife has got this knife whisker which takes care of all the chopping and stuff. And another knife control which takes care of the knife movement and the actually the uh, chopping animation part. And this animator is just the animation that the knife plays at the end of our game. So, this knife has got this parent child game object which has the, which has the chopping animation on it. And the knife itself. And inside this point game object, we got a couple points. So the tip and the best. So we use this to cut the fruits in pieces, which is something that I don't want to get into. Uh, so I'll just leave a link to the tutorial which, which helped me make this whole um, mesh slicing system. So you can check it out. And make sure you keep everything in the correct order, which is very important. 
and of course we can play around with the knife control settings like like the exhaust on red and the cooldown red things like that but let's for now let's just keep them as is so yeah i think that's pretty much all for this game and of course what you can do is grab the whole game for free the link will be in the description and before ending this video i have an important announcement to make that for it and yeah you guessed it i'm launching my own website soon where i'll be sharing all my assets and the resources that i have used in my tutorials so that you can just easily grab them and don't have to write all the code yourself which is something you guys wanted for a long time now it will both have the tutorial that you can watch and the files that are related to that particular tutorial so yeah stay tuned for that too hopefully it will be live soon so yeah that's all for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure you share it with your friends and i'll see you in the next one